Good evening, y'all. I thought I'd spare you my face today. <laughs> uh, this is 16 legs to see, and I just thought I'd give you our nightly update. We spent the day with our good friends Nadia, Jason, and their son Max in Naples, hanging out at a pool. Had a good time, and uh, there's been a lot of requests for a tour of the boat. So here we are in uh, Marco Island Marina next to all these other just lovely boats. And uh, here we are coming across my lovely wife and our vessel Perseverance. So here's your swim platform, hydraulic swim platform that can go down and up into the water for your dinghies and things like that. Uh, so it'll just uh, bring it right up. So very nice to have over there on the right, on the starboard side, you see where the master power cord is for the 50 amp. And that comes right over here and we plug into shore power and that's how we get shore power when we're obviously at dock we have a generator in the bilge that will provide us power when we're not tied up to a dock uh, just uses some gas obviously uh, right off the diesel tanks so i guess i'll step aboard we'll try not to fall in the water hey i made it hi wife we are all kind of tired from uh, swimming so here we have uh, the cockpit and here for all of you kitty fans, they aren't real happy, but I kept the door open and I didn't want to have to deal with them uh, running all over the boat uh, right now. So that is little butter on the left and that is pumpernickel on the right. Hey, you're on camera. Say hi. Yeah. Okay. So here we are in the cockpit. Um, one of the few 480s that we found, as you can see, my wife is sitting on the bench. Most of the 480s does, do not have these benches anymore. They've been taken out. Um, and uh, I don't know, you know, I think it's either or for me and it's totally fine, but uh, it's nice and comfortable. That's for sure, uh, back here. I'll take you up to the bridge first. Here we go, up the stairs. I won't spend a lot of time up here, but there's a nice uh, table here, seating for, you know, six or seven around the table. Um, and this is kind of where everybody hangs out when we're underway or having a nice day out. Uh, here you see the Isinglass and canvas. I'll pan a little slower. Sorry about that. Uh, around the boat. So this is all getting replaced here shortly. So we'll have nice clear canvas and uh, or nice clear Isinglass and nice new canvas. Uh, this is a little tattered and worn. There's a refrigerator up here on the top side uh, that you can, uh, you know, keep some of your beverages in, things like that. We're drying a little bit of clothes there. Um, and so that just closes like that. Uh, this is the helm. I won't bore you too much. Not much going on up here when, but unless you're running the boat. Um, on the left there, you see two uh, brass knobs. This is your transmission, forward, reverse, neutral. And on the right there is your uh, throttles. So that's your starboard and port on the right and left uh, to control how much RPMs you're getting to your engine. Um, and then these are your Controls which show you each engine electronically what they're doing RPMs how much engine load they have miles uh, gas gallons per hour um, And these are some analog gauges that you can compare them to which is always good You always want to compare your data if you, if you have an opportunity uh, This is our uh, uh, Chart plotter navigation and then up here. I have it covered up right now, but this is our uh, rain marine uh, radar arch over here You just have your toggle switches for your various electronics uh, lights and uh, everything else on the helm um Air conditioning is on the helm, which is nice. The air conditioning and heated. If it uh, gets too cold or hot up here, you can cool it down or warm it up, which is uh, really, really nice. Um, it's just a great running boat uh, to handle from here. Uh, just super easy. Uh, just a dream. Um, quite frankly, easier to dock than my older boat was. And my older boat was 18 feet less than this. Uh, so uh, just a, a real dream. So we came down the stairs there. Here's the cockpit. And we'll bring you into the salon or as you might say, your living room. Uh, here we'll swing to the right. So here, this chair and that chair, those are the bane of our existence currently because they're just giant chairs that we don't really use. And they eat up a ton of space. They got the foot rests and everything. And I'm sure they were standard from Sea Ray at the time and they're really nice chairs, but they just eat up so much space. And there's lots of cabinetry behind it. Back here and behind this, this piece here is all of our master on and offs. Uh, for shore power and uh, running all your outlets and everything else. And behind there, there's more storage and more storage. You can see all the knobs. So you're constantly moving these chairs to kind of get to things. 
which is a little bit uh, boat life. Uh, things are tighter. Uh, you just don't have as much space, but certainly not as enjoyable. Huge screen TV, way bigger than we need. Uh, and it's working just fine. But um, if this were my boat, I would not have this giant TV. I don't know why people like giant TVs on boats, but they do. And hey, look at my daughter, Siobhan. She's really enjoying boat life by doing exactly what she would be doing at home, which is watching Gumball on YouTube. Over here, my son, Seth. Say hi, Seth. Hi, I'm a YouTuber and I really want to go to bed, but for some reason my eyes can never fall asleep when it when it is daytime. Okay, so Seth is letting us know a little. What is your what is your YouTube handle, Seth? Um, What's your name on YouTube? Watermelon boy. In but there's a few of them might have a. In my icon is a picture of a cat. Okay. It's actually, my cat, Little Butter. All right, we saw a little better earlier, so we know exactly who that is. So up here you see our dining room table or or galley. Or this is our galley, I should say. Now this is uh, what probably a lot of you are, are curious about. Um, we've got our little kitty little uh, box here. Um, and uh, this nice little deal here slides out and pushes in, um, which is really nice to give us a little extra uh, cutting space and just kind of board space. This is a three burner stove, um, which we can cook on um, as long as you're on shore power with the generator. Obviously, you can't run this on the batteries. Um, over here, oh, yeah, here we go. Here's our microwave. Uh, Seth really wants you to see the microwave. Yes, I do. It's my favorite part. <laughs> okay. And then underneath here is the sink and uh, all of that. So uh, I'll bury you that. This under here is our freezer. Sub-Zero freezer on the left and your refrigerator on the right. Again, probably, you know, half to three quarter size availability. The freezer actually has quite a bit of space as a freezer would go, but the uh, refrigerator is probably a lot less than what we would like. But again, a little bit of boat life. So lots of storage over here to get in all of your silverware and all of that jazz. Underneath here, more storage for all of your cereals and various whatevers and uh, you know garbage can, etc. Lots of storage underneath there as well. And the cat. And there's a kitty cat, yes. So up top, this is where we kind of create a little spot for the kitties to sleep and they really enjoy it up here. Just a little bit of a uh, area that they can enjoy. Uh, that's uh, one of our neighbors looking out our windows. All right, so let's head down the stairwell to where our staterooms are at. First, we'll start with Siobhan's stateroom, which is a double berth and it's an L. So it goes in here, she sleeps in here, but as you swing in here, you'll also see it goes all the way back back there. So she likes to play back there and have all kinds of toys um and uh you know hang out it's kind of a little fort for her back there which is really nice underneath there are storage uh, uh, drawers that pull out for all the clothing and everything else and here you'll find seth <laughs> he's got his uh he's got his toast and watermelon uh <laughs> Uh, uh, stuffed animals and that's great. This is one of the, uh, this is what we consider the guest state room. Um, and uh, he's got a TV as well, um, air conditioned. Uh, each of the state rooms is air conditioned as well as the main salon. You can see it's 75 degrees in here right now. It's quite comfortable. Um, we're just running the fans right now just to kind of keep uh, air moving along. And Seth wearing his Roblox hat, he is a huge Roblox fan. Um, Nuke of watermelons, if you want to look him up, he's pretty darn good. So now we'll come here to the guest head. Whoops, I didn't leave the light on. There we go. Okay, so yeah, it's a bathroom, yeah? Okay, um, over here is a shower and you know, kind of sit there and whatever. We use the other shower, it tends to work a little bit uh, better than this one, uh, but um, uh, we haven't showered a ton. We tend to use the marinas for the showers if we can because you just get some nice pressure from it and everything else. And then our master stateroom. Um, this one is where Janine and I sleep. And uh, again, a little DVD TV player. Uh, again, I'm TVs. I'm telling you, I don't know why people put so many TVs on boats. Uh, there's so much to view outside of your boat. Why would you be in here looking at a TV? But I guess some people really love it. Um, uh, it's nice for a movie or something like that here or there. But quite frankly, one TV on a boat this size is plenty. Um, our master head, the notorious clogged toilet, still exists. 
Um, although we've gotten a little further down, but not quite. I got a guy coming to look at it on Wednesday. I'm happy about that. This is our master shower. It really works quite well. Um, it gets good hot water. It, uh, you know, has plenty of pressure. You can take a decent shower in there, strangely enough. I wasn't thinking that it was going to be quite that great. Uh, and, you know, just some uh, a regular vanity. Um, you know, it, looks, it always looks better in the pictures than it does in videos. And uh, that is true with probably a lot of things. So here we come back up the stairs. Okay, so we found a little spot here at the base of these stairs. These stairs can be lift up, lifted up because there's obviously workings of the boat underneath it and everything else. But there's a problem with that in that the kitties could get in there and then kind of get caught. So we have had this pillow until we find something else stuffed here to keep the kitty, speaking of kitty, uh, there's a little butter, um, to keep them from getting uh, lost in there or hurt or anything like that. It's really been about the only spot that I've been concerned with. So that is our tour of our wonderful vessel, my family, Seth. Siobhan, my beautiful wife, Janine. We saw the cats, Little Butter and Pumpernickel. This was the longest video I've done in a very long time. As I'm looking at the clock, it's 11 minutes and seven seconds. Why are you still watching? Oh my God. 16 legs to see. You saw a lot about where we live. Hope you have a great night.